let's get started. First off, I already moisturized my face. I just used my favorite moisturizer. And since this is gonna be a little bit of a tutorial on how to take care of all these acne scars um, that I have or just old acne marks, um, I wanted to talk about a couple different products that helps me get rid of these. Um, yes, it takes a long time to fully, fully, fully get rid of these spots, but I definitely think it helps. And my absolute favorite product is this Garnier Spot Corrector. Um, this was something different. I think they just repackaged this. So I'm hoping that this is the exact same one, but this has grape seed extract in it. And I feel like that is the ingredient that really helps get rid of these dark spots. This does retail for 16 bucks, so it's a little expensive, but you don't need too much. It probably takes a couple months to really start seeing some progress. So that's why I like using a couple products to just kind of help that process along. But my second favorite is this new Neutrogena Rapid Clear um, Stubborn Acne Daily Leave-On Mask. Um, this has benzoyl peroxide in it, and I absolutely love, love, love this. Um, this one works fairly quickly. Um, it just dependent on how much acne you have or acne scars that you have. I use this at night. And last but not least is this new also Garnier um, Clearly Brighter Night overnight leave on peel I've only used this once I did like it I don't think I saw as big of a difference in the morning as I did when I started using this one I think it's good to switch off between these two um, just so your skin doesn't get used to either one of the products all right so let's jump into the tutorial so my face is already moisturized so let's start off with a foundation I am using the NYX stay matte not flat foundation I am in the color nude and since my skin has dried out a little bit um, with my new acne medication I'm just gonna add this NYX illuminator um, to my foundation this is in the color gleam I'll mix these a little bit together and start dabbing it around my face and then I'm just gonna blend it in with a beauty blender So I'm not going to apply too much foundation because I still want to see my skin underneath my foundation. But to cover up my blemishes, I am going to use the new CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer. I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to blend this in. On the areas where I want a little bit more coverage, I'm going to let that concealer sit just a little bit just so it really covers up my blemishes. While that concealer sets, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and I'm just going to use my ColourPop Eyebrow Pencil. This is brand new for them. This is in the color black and brown. Next, I'm going to blend in the concealer we left setting on our face with my Beauty Blender. All right, so let's move on to our eyes. The first color I'm gonna take is ColourPop Cosmetics Super Shock Eyeshadow in the color Kennedy. Personally love applying these eyeshadows with a synthetic brush. I know a lot of people like applying this with their fingers, but I feel like I can be a lot more precise when I use a synthetic brush. So this is the Luxie Lush 120 Detail Round Blender Brush. You can use any synthetic brush that you have, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my crease. I'm going to darken up that crease using ColourPop Cosmetics Cornelius Super Shock Eyeshadow and I'm going to use my Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush. And I really want to make sure I don't blend this color upwards and really just keep this to the lower part of my crease. This is an extremely subtle color so don't freak out if it's not really darkening up your crease. I don't really want to darken it up too much, I just want to add a hint of dimension. But you can take a darker eyeshadow if you want to really darken up that crease. Now to add some color to my lids, I am going to take ColourPop Cosmetics Sequin Color Shock Eyeshadow. It has a little bit of shimmer and like glitter to it, so I absolutely love that. Here you can use your finger to gently apply this to your lid. Um, but again, just to be precise, I am going to use my Sigma F70 Concealer Brush. 
So my favorite brush to actually apply um, the eyeshadows to my lid is my MAC 242 brush, the super flat, narrowed brush. And for some reason, I can't find it, so I'm struggling to find a brush that works. Um, this other brush, I tried the MAC 283 brush, I think, and this doesn't work as well. So I think I'm just gonna go back and use my uh, Sigma Precision P86 tapered brush. Hopefully that one will work. <laughs> So now I'm gonna add some translucent powder to my face because again, I wanna keep my skin nice and fresh. The new Kat Von D translucent setting powders works um, just like the Laura Mercier translucent powders or any translucent powders. Um, I like this because it doesn't add a white cast to my face, which is really nice. To add some color to her cheeks, I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Color in the color Quarters. And again, I am going to use Synthetic Brush. This is the Morphe E20 brush. Apply most of my color on the apples on my cheeks and then with whatever is left on my brush, then I start blending it out. And to just darken this up just a little bit, I am going to take ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek Color in Skinny Dip. Again, this is a light color, so you may not see it doing much, but I just want to add a little bit more dimension and kind of a cooler tone to this warm color since our eyeshadows are so warm. And to go back to our eyes, I forgot to take a little bit of that translucent powder and I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone with a small fluffy brush. This is the Morphe B74 brush. Leave my brow bone naked, but I also don't want to apply any highlighter under that because the rest of our face is so dewy and glowy. On some eyeliner, I'm going to take my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This is in the color Blackest Black. I'm just going to add a small cat eye and I'll be right back. Let's finally finish off our eyes by applying some mascara. I'm going to use all of these mascaras. This is the, I believe this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to use this one first and then I go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous a Carbon Black Mascara. And then I am going to finish that off using the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. You can choose to use this one or not. Obviously you can choose to use whatever mascara you like, but um, this is the order that I like to apply my mascara to make them look super 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 long and then to my bottom lashes I love using the L'Oreal telescopic shocking extensions mascara so I'm gonna apply all of those and I'll be right back to finish off my eye look again other than my mascara I'm gonna add a little bit of Kennedy's eyeshadow on my lower lash line so now I switch to my Morphe M507 brush it's crazy you guys that some brushes just don't work and apply the eyeshadow um, the way you want with these cream eyeshadows it's kind of crazy <laughs> I like to look up when I'm doing this just so it tightens up that lower lash line and it's easier to apply that eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take Cornelius and apply that right on top. And this will buff out that color just a little bit and soften it so it's not so orange. Alright, so now I'm going to take a dark brown liner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Pencil in Demolition. So it's dark brown, and I prefer a dark brown for this look for the lower lash line than a black. Um, I feel like it softens up that look. Alright, and now I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter to my cheeks. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Color in Avalon. And I'm just going to use that same Morphe E20 brush that we used to apply our blush. For my lips, I am going to apply ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lip Color in Instigator.
a little bit too orangey for you, you can apply it on top of that ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip Color in Monday, or you could just apply Monday. And of course, since I can't leave this matte for whatever reason, I'm going to apply a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of lip gloss in Tight Fit Metallic Color. Not metallic, but a glossy, shimmery lip, glossy, shimmery lip gloss. <laughs> All right, everybody, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It's always fun to play with new uh, makeup. I guess I've never done a ColourPop Cosmetics tutorial before, so um, it was fun to do. I absolutely love, love, love their products, and they're just so amazing for um, how little they cost. They're just so awesome. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and as always, thank you so much for spending the time with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed, and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks, you guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye!